Hey everyone, how's it going? If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Carrie Dawn, and I'm going to be doing a really quick video about the books that I'm wanting to read by the end of this year. I am notoriously bad about sticking to the plan of my TBR, and um, I, I have like 500 plus books on my TBR shelf. So um, I decided that it's time for me to go ahead and make a list of 15 books that I desperately want to read by the end of this year. So let's get started. The first book that I want to read by the end of this year is Choosing Us. Here's a little picture of it. This is by M. Robinson. And so this book is about a guy who met his soulmate whenever he was only seven years old. And it's their love story. They've been in love. They're married. They're supposed to be together for the rest of their lives. And then one day his wife says, I just don't love you anymore. And uh, that's about all I really know about this one. I, I'm just at the very beginning of starting this audiobook. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to finish this one this week. It looks really good. Obviously it's a duet. It's going to be really sad. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and get to this one. I might end up picking up the second book whenever I'm done, especially if it ends on a cliffhanger like most duets do. Uh, so this might already upset my uh, 15 TBR list because I'll probably have to pick up the second book once I'm done with that one. Uh, let me go ahead and get into the next book that I want to read by the end of this year. And that is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I am picking a lot of sad books, guys. I don't know why, but um, I haven't read this one yet. Like I said, I have a huge list of books that I haven't read on my TBR shelf. So I need to go ahead and get to some of these books that most people have already read. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, while y'all were, or while most people were reading contemporary romances, I have been obsessed with my paranormal romances and I've read almost all of those um, and so I'm, I'm actually a little new to the contemporary romance. I just started reading it in the last year or two. So um, a lot of these books that maybe y'all have read several years ago, I'm just now getting to. Uh, but anyway, it ends with us. Obviously I know, all, really all I know about it is that it's like a heart-wrenching book and that's it. Uh, I think I'm going to go into it blind. I, I don't even think I've read like the synopsis on it. The next book on my to be read shelf is 10 Tiny Breasts by K.A. Tucker. Uh, I have read It F Until It Fades by K.A. Tucker and I love that one. I know this one is supposed to be a little bit more dark. Uh, this is about a story where a girl gets into a really bad car wreck with her parents, her boyfriend. She loses everybody. It's just her and her little sister. They move to a new city and in the next apartment there's a guy and it's their love story and uh, that's really all I know about this one. So um, I, I've heard this is a great book and I'm really excited to get to this one. The next book I want to get to is Beautiful Mistake by Vi Keelan. This one compared to the, all the sad books that I'm wanting to read, this one looks hilarious. It is a, about a girl who, uh, this guy sees her at a bar, tries to pick her up, and she goes off on him. Uh, she mistakenly thinks that this is the guy who hurt her best friend, and so she starts, she just rants on him. And, uh, and like I mentioned, it's not the right guy. So it's their love story. It looks hilarious, and I'm really excited to get to this book. I love Vikeland's writing, so uh, that's one I definitely want to pick up soon. The next book I want to read is Easy by Tamara Weber. Uh, I know that this is a series. It's a new adult. Um, he's her savior, apparently. Uh, I really, I honestly don't know much about it. Uh, I know that this is a new adult and it's one of those super popular books that people seem to love, kind of like Beautiful Disaster and After by Anna Todd. And I am a sucker for these kind of books. So hopefully this one's going to be just as good as those. The next book I want to pick up is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I think this is the only 2019 book on this list, uh, but I've heard such wonderful things about this one. Obviously, this is a love to hate. Everybody on booktube has been talking about it. It's a super popular series, 
and uh, I really like Christina Lauren's writing, so I'm really excited to pick this one up. The next book I want to read is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. Going into this, I know that this is going to be another one of these heart-wrenching books. I, I don't know anything about this one. I don't want to know anything about it. I've been told that's the way to go into it, um, is just to go in blind on this one. So I'm going to do that and I will report back, but I've heard that this one is like one of the best books, you know, by far. So we'll see. It's my first book by Tilly Cole that I'll have actually read by her. Uh, but I've, like I said, I've heard wonderful things. The next two books that I want to pick up, um, or I've actually I've already picked up, is by J.R. Ward. The first one is The Savior. I have read all of the Black Dagger Brotherhood books. Um, in fact, I've read them more than once. Uh, this is my very favorite series ever, and I'm so excited to pick up this next one. Um, I cannot believe that I haven't read these yet. But I just, I was in a mood where I wanted to read contemporaries and I was kind of getting out of the vampire series for a little while, but I have been dying to read my vampires. I've missed them so much and I think it's time. I'm going to read this by December. Um, I've got this book signed by the author to me. I'm super excited about that. Uh, so anyway, yes, The Savior is the next book that I want to read and... After that one, I want to read Blood Truth, uh, also by J.R. Ward. This is part of the series, but this is about the training uh, camp. It's not about the main brothers. And um, once again, I've read all of these books up until these last two. So I'm ready to pick these up, read these, and uh, see what's in store with my boys. I have severely missed them. The next book that I want to read, and the book that I actually currently am reading right now, is After Ever Happy by Anna Todd. This is the fourth book in the series and I am addicted. It is so good. These are, I mean, with how huge, this is the smallest book. Um, and with how huge most of, the, most of these books are, I am just devouring them. I am in love with Hardin and Tessa. I am addicted to the series and I am so excited. I'm, it's bittersweet because I'm so sad that this is the last book. Um, I just, I want to keep reading about these two forever. Uh, but since I can't, I'm going to go ahead and finish the series and I'm so excited for this. Um, so that's the next book. That is it for the physical copies that I have. The next uh, several books that I want to go ahead and bring up is going to be an ebook format um, or audiobook. Uh, the next book that I want to read is A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. Uh, this is going to be the um, actual next book that I read. I currently have it all ready to go on my ebook and I'm ready to uh, go ahead and jump into a new Candy Steiner book. I have read a couple of different Candy Steiner books. One I just kind of sort of liked and one that I absolutely adored. And so I'm ready to jump on into this one. I've heard good things about it. Um, so there's that. <laughs> the next book that I would like to read is My Commander by Elena Alder. And this is, I believe it's vampires or it's some kind of a paranormal book. Um, and I've heard really good things about this one. So this is the first in a series. I know there's like 11 or 12 books out right now. So I'm super excited to get to this. I want to read at least the first one. Um, who knows, normally whenever I get into a series like this, if I really like it, I binge read it super fast. Uh, so hopefully whenever I start this, I don't just go on a tangent and read every single one of the books. That's what I normally do. So we will see. The next book that I want to read is we, I just punched myself in the face. See, awkward. The next book, Ooh. Lord have mercy. Let's try this one more time. The next book I want to read is We Could Write This Shit by B.A. Luden and K. Morrow. Hopefully I didn't just completely butcher those names. Um, but this looks hilarious. And it's, um, it's literally, it's obviously, it says hilarious bad sex scenes. So I'm pretty sure that is a very obvious 
book and what it's about. Um, but it looks hilarious and I'm hoping to be able to read that in between a couple of my more serious books that I have on the list to kind of, you know, help myself and cleanse my palate there between terrible, horrible, sad books. Um, okay, the next, but well, you know, not terrible, but you know what I mean. Okay, the next book on my list is Pest Pestilence. I'm horrible about saying that. Pestilence by Laura Thalassa. And I, I totally butchered that, I'm pretty sure. But uh, this is on Kindle Unlimited. It is also um, kind of a paranormal, well, not really paranormal, but it's kind of about mythology and it's about the four horsemen. So, uh, I, but I've heard wonderful things about this one and I'm super excited to read it. And gosh, guys, isn't that cover gorgeous? Look at him. He's beautiful. Okay. The next book that's on my list is Bear Town by Frederick Backman. And I know that Bear Town is one of those books that um, is gonna be a little sad. I see the guy plays a sport, rapes a girl in college. So it it sounds relevant. It sounds like if done well, it, it's gonna be a really good book. And I've heard wonderful things about it. So I'm gonna listen to the audiobook for this one. And the last book on my list is going to be an audiobook. This one is Boomtown by Lanny Lynn Val. And um, I really don't know a whole lot about this one, but this is an author that's going to be at Book Bonanza. And so I would like to read one of her books or listen to one of her books um, before I, I go next August. So I decided to go ahead and listen to this one on audiobook and I hope it's good. Um, all right, so that is the 15 books that I have on my list. To be honest, I know that it's going to probably veer off once I start reading these books because I know that several of them are part of duets or uh, series that I'm if, if I enjoy it I usually binge read whenever I do it if I like a certain author's writing or style I will just go off and I mean I'm in a zone whenever I start reading um, if I really like an author I'm gonna just completely start reading the book so we'll see uh, hopefully that doesn't isn't the case but these are the books that I want to go ahead and read by the end of the year I hope you all enjoyed uh, let me know what books you're planning on reading and uh, if you've read any of these let me know if any of them are just like horrible books that I should not waste my time on or um, if you really enjoyed them let me know in the comments okay I'll talk to you guys later have a great night